Hi kids, I'm Miss Lauren and I'm at the Lincoln Public Library. Today I'm gonna to show you the craft that we'll be doing together next week. We're gonna be making these cute little paper hedgehogs. This is a craft for kids who are eight to 12 years old and you do need to register. So make sure you go to our website, lincolnpubliclibrary.com and register on our events page. Once you've registered, you'll have a bag out in the lobby. It'll have your child's first name and last initial on it, and you can just pick it right up from there. All right, so let me show you what we have in our bag. When you open it up, you're gonna notice two pieces of brown paper, and then a smaller piece of tan paper. And in addition to what's in the bag, you'll also need a few materials at home. You'll need a pair of scissors, You'll need a black marker or crayon or colored pencil. You'll need some glue. And then you'll just need something round. You can use a cup or a bowl to trace circles with. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your brown piece of paper and you're gonna trace a circle using your bowl or your cup. And so you should end up with a circle that looks like this, about this large. And then you're going to take that circle and you can use a ruler if you want or you can just draw a line or you can fold it like this and you're going to cut it in half and you want three half circles three hemispheres like this so the first step once you've got your pieces cut out is to twist it into a cone shape so it looks like that then you'll just glue those two pieces together and after you glue it, I would hold it for a couple seconds just to help that glue set. Do it again with your other two brown pieces. So you should have three brown cones in all. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your tan piece of paper and we're gonna make a circle on this paper as well. But you want that circle to be a little bit smaller. So I've got my brown circle, it was about this big. Here's my tan circle. This is gonna be the head, so we want it to be a little bit smaller. So I would find something else to trace with that's a slightly smaller than what you use for your brown paper. Once you've traced the circle and cut it out, you're gonna cut it in half, just like with the others. And then you're gonna twist it into a cone again, just like that, and glue it together. All right, so now you'll have three pieces. You'll have your brown pieces of paper, and then you'll have the fourth head right here. With the brown pieces of paper, you're gonna take them, and using your scissors, you're gonna cut little strips just into the top half of your little cone. So it'll end up looking a little bit like this. You'll have these thin strips, and you can use your finger and curl them a little bit. That'll make your hedgehog a little bit more prickly. So once you've done that, you're gonna take those pieces and it's time to assemble them all together. So first you'll take your head piece and you'll put a little glue on the inside bottom of that cone and you'll add one of the brown cones. Hold them together with the glue for a couple of seconds and then put some glue inside the brown sphere and add another one and then add your third one. So it's all glued along the bottom and now you've assembled your hedgehog. So now the last step is just to take that marker or colored pencil or crayon and you're gonna draw a little face. So you can color in his little nose at the tip, some eyes and some ears. And you end up with this really cute little hedgehog. As you guys know, it's fall right now, so the leaves have changed and have started to fall down. The temperatures are changing. And another thing that's happening is, in the animal kingdom, a lot of animals are getting ready for winter right now. So you guys probably know that bears hibernate in winter. They sleep the entire winter. Well, hedgehogs are another animal, along with skunks and groundhogs, mice, bats, spiders, and snakes. There's a lot of different animals that actually hibernate in the winter. And the hedgehog is one of those animals. So you guys have just made this adorable little hedgehog and it's ready to go into hibernation. All right, well, if you guys enjoy making this and would like to share a picture of your work with us, you can post it on our Facebook page. We'd love to see what you make. Remember, you do need to register, so go on our website to register for this craft, and we'll see you soon for our next craft. Have a great week, guys. Bye.